In this video I'm turning the back spindles for the Sussex chair and there are four spindles and the first job is to, to do the roughing out. I'm using our roughing gouge here just to get the cylinder of wood to a nice smooth cylinder shape. The wood I'm using is yew. It's quite a difficult wood to turn on the pole lathe. It has quite a wavy grain and isn't the easiest. Next chisel I'm using is the smoothing planing chisel and this will get the surface really smooth. <laughs> it's quite a satisfying chisel to use because the shavings really do fly off and you get a windy day and they actually sort of fly past you. Then it's the parting chisel and I use this to mark out where I need to actually make the different sort of little details on the spindle turning so quite a useful tool you just make some channels with it and you know where you are detail wise quite a quick one to cut on this you can see the wood's quite wet still that i'm using because it's flaking quite a bit it's actually almost too wet i quite like turning wood when it's a little bit drier than this on a detail thing it's quite tricky actually doing a fine detail turning i'm so used to doing chair legs which you can turn out quite quickly but something like this where it's very fine detail is a bit more tricky and you've not got a lot of space for your pole um, lathe cord to actually move in if you're not careful it sort of moves off the end and what you can see there is I've actually made a little ridge on the right hand side so that the pole lathe cord doesn't fly off so easily so putting in the detail now and I'm putting in some of the turnings I'm using a skew chisel for this working up into the corners I find with these chisels it really is worth keeping them very sharp so during a turning like this I quite often do a quick sort of hone across the stone just to get them really sharp a pile of shaving shows how it's going it's quite difficult getting the detail balance right you know you've got to sort of taper on this turning and you've got to work with the grain as much as you can but it, with a little bit of practice and taking time it, it comes and here they are the finished spindles so I've got four of them I may turn a couple of spare ones and then use the best ones but overall very pleased with that hope you enjoyed the video